it's a beautiful day today. I'm still in uh, Quebec. It's very hot outside. And I was sitting inside the truck stop. Actually, the Wi-Fi does not, the free Wi-Fi, as it's typical, you know, when they advertise free Wi-Fi, does not work. I couldn't get it to work on my laptop inside the driver's lounge. But then when you go inside the restaurant, that uh, chicken place they have stickers on the door saying that they have free Wi-Fi and that one works great so we're just fooling around there with my computer and then I remembered that um, I wanted to show you guys something about the uh, the Honda and basically we just went through the another winter Canadian winter and the previous winter I did not have these fenders, right? So all this moisture was um, flying in here. I tried to cover it. At one point I had a plastic in winter inside, but the water was still getting in. And I think all this, so this motor is about um, two years old. Okay, so here's the original problem, and it's all shaky. I got tired, that's what I noticed also like two days ago. I got tired of uh, tightening the bolts at the bottom, but this thing here, it wasn't doing anything, right? As I mentioned, I did notice the RPM increase, so I went to investigate to see where it connects, and I found this thing over here. And you see the spring is so worn out that it does not turn this part over here. And that one is in turn connected to this lever here. So this lever works, right? That's what actually increases the gas. But see, I cannot, this one does nothing. Just a little bit, tiny little bit it moves. So. And I try to move it with my hand like this part. I think it's stuck. So that's one thing. And this thing broke again yesterday. This is the second thing they uh, the, They don't last very long because the weight is so big. You know, if you're not careful, see over there, it just broke. <laughs> but this is nothing compared to what, this, what I discovered yesterday. So I started wondering why it shakes like this. And I went down to look at the bolts. And I found this. Okay, hold on. I don't know if you can see it because it's very bright. Let's increase the picture. Now you can see the big crack in here. Why would it crack like that? You know? And that's why it's loose now. And this thing over here, that's the oil valve. That's where you drain the oil. That's where it goes in. And I see there's some oil in here, right? And I wonder, like, how bad is that crack affecting the, the motor? So, not very good news. What I'm gonna do from now on is definitely uh, I want to figure out a way to cover it in winter because I don't think this motor will survive another winter. Well, there's a farm next to the truck stop, and this guy is going over the hay and he turns it into a brick. Here we have another uh, Freightliner Argosy cab over with a couple of with an interesting trailer setup. Looks like a B train. So the first one is a flatbed, and three axles in the middle, and then the last one is a step deck. 
So this guy is probably a specialized uh, agricultural uh, agricultural carrier. And the trailer is uh, Load King. Oh. And he's from uh, Nova Scotia, where I'm from, or I mean where uh, my truck, my license plate is uh, from. That's uh, I-20 over there. I mean, hot one, Auto Route 20. And in case you're wondering, the reason I'm wearing this sweater is because later on, when I'm done with the movie, I want to go inside. And the AC over there is very strong. So basically, now I'm just walking around trying to find a good spot to get a train because we have a cab over truck we have a Honda motor all we need now is a, is a fast uh, train maybe some cute woman on a motorcycle and that would wrap up a good picture for the Sunday you know like an object from the future whereas in fact I think it's just uh, freshly painted or maybe I'm mistaken maybe it, it is new one of those switches now look at the size of the padlocks over here nobody messed with the railroad Something is scaring me in these woods over here. I found a cool spot. You know, in the shade. And something keeps making noise in there. Sounds like one of those crocodiles. I just don't like these noises when I cannot see what's happening. Like, I started throwing rocks in there. And it went away, and then five minutes later it came back, I hear it rustling again. And we have a winner. <laughs> yes! <laughs> so I waited like an hour, and all I got was what? Three and a half cars pulled by one big engine. Well, some days that's all you get. Excuse me. I, I, how do you say the name of this town in French? Saint Libois? How do you say it? Uh, I don't understand. No. How do you pronounce? How do you pronounce the name of this town in French? Uh, Quebec. No. Uh, Saint Livois. Saint Livois. Livois. Saint Livois. Merci.